the things that I learned in our travels around the world was to mark the worth in every day. You know, I say you may have to go up to the top of the mast to fix something in the middle of the ocean. But while you're up there, the view is awfully nice from up there. And it's just a matter of looking and seeing the good in every single day that you have and that you experience. And this goes for every day of your lives. So I tell myself, and I always try to remind my listeners, don't forget to stop and listen and look and see what is important in every single day and the worth in every day. I remember when we were about to cross the Indian Ocean, I was sitting up on the bow and I was petrified because it seemed like we were on the other side of the world, which we were, of course, but it still was scary because the Indian Ocean is a, is, you know, who knows where that is. And all of a sudden, I pinched myself and I said, wait, Larry, stop. You're about to cross the Indian Ocean as captain of your own boat. This is a pretty cool thing. You should really appreciate this. Don't be scared. Just go. So we went. You know, we were nearly derailed permanently. Some of you may remember the uh, tsunami in Thailand in 2004. We were there. Julia was anchored at Patong Beach in Phuket. And Patong Beach, this was in November. We were anchored there. And one day, about late November, Ken came up on deck looking kind of sad. I said, what's the matter? You know, we're at beautiful Patong Beach and everything's wonderful. And he says, I kind of miss my family. I kind of feel like I want to go home for, for Christmas. Can we go home for Christmas? And I said, well, I don't see why not. We've sailed around here for a couple of months. One more tropical island. What's the difference? Let's go home for Christmas. So the next day, we went into the travel agency, and we bought round trip tickets to San Francisco. We took Julia up a river and up to a boatyard, and we hauled her out of the water. About three and a half weeks later, the tsunami hit Patong Beach square on and wiped out absolutely everything in its path, including every single boat that was anchored there. So you better believe that every day that I'm breathing on this earth <laughs> is a good one for me. And I mark the worth in every single one of my days. And speaking of breathing, I haven't told you yet about the, the time I was tangled in an anchor line at the bottom of the Red Sea. We'll leave some stories for the book. <laughs> so keep a positive attitude. Mark the worth of your day. And um, you'll see the good things in every single day. Well, I just had a recent discovery. I didn't know that there were such things. You know what a movie trailer is? It talks about a movie. I didn't know that there were such things as book trailers. And so... Well, I'm going to, thank you. I'm going to spoil it for you. We made it home. It turns out if you sail west and you keep going, you will end up in the same place you started. We traveled 40,455 nautical miles. We visited 40 countries, and nobody died. Nobody lost a limb. Nobody was even seriously injured on board Julia. 
but we face danger constantly. If you know sailing, you know there are a hundred ways to die out there. But we had good planning. I think we had good grace, and we did it right. But ours is a story of good times. It's a story about surviving rough times and about emerging as stronger people for having been tested. And about, it's about finding what's important in life. And it's not sold in retail stores. I came home and have learned to live with my life with love, with laughter, and with passion. You know, there's nothing funny about losing your transmission when you're thousands of miles from the nearest Amco. And it takes four weeks to have a part flown in. But if you don't laugh about it, what do you do? Cry? As far as I know, there's no crying in sailing. And I never wanted to be one of those solo sailors. I always wanted to be surrounded with love. And there's a lot more about that in stories in the book as well. And one of the biggest things is I've learned to live my life with passion, whether it's jumping out of the bed to see the sunrise or going for a walk in a rain shower. I find that when I do that, my life is filled with passion, it's filled with laughter, it's filled with love, and my life is an adventure. And yours is the same. Just live with passion and your life will be a big adventure. Thank you. Thank you.